Where did you get these? I, now, we can't divulge our secrets. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm gonna squeeze by here. Ma'am, I'm gonna get this. Can I set it all right here? Sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah, 14. 14, yeah. okay. Okay, I didn't want to cheat her. <laughs> it's too early for math. I tell you. <laughs> Thank you. You want a bag for them or not? Well, I go ahead and wait for you. You need to pick your and She's going to look. Okay. So I got 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 3 is 13 plus um, 15 is 28. Okay. That worked. Thank you, ma'am. Mm, thank you. Morning. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. You got a good are day for a sale. Oh, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're having Elvis breakfast. What's Elvis breakfast? Peanut butter and bananas. Oh, awesome. <laughs> are you looking for anything particular? You have any like old video games, Nintendo, or anything like that? Any like sports memorabilia? Yeah, box at your feet is the only tool kind of stuff that I have. Okay. There are some packages of little like computer tools. How about movie memorabilia? Yeah, what kind of movie memorabilia you have? Oh, oh, okay. I have. Oh, okay. This little thing. There's different kinds and different packages. Something. And these things are. Uh, to for a bedroll or a they they put them around a bedroll. Okay, we have. That's something you need. Okay, I like have Peter Pan. Oh, very cool. <laughs> I have uh, Straight Talk and oh, the other one. And then there's some other stuff in that blue box there. You might have to get that down. Yeah. Huh? Where did you get these? Now, we can't divulge our secrets. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> we, don't, we don't tell about our horses. Oh, here's honey. Uh, honey, I, I blew up the kids. Awesome. What are you asking on these? Uh, $3 a piece. $3 a piece. So we got... Oh, it's a movie. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. This is... Some of these are kind of like pieces of ones, yeah. There's Dolly. Straight talk, yeah. <laughs> and this one is Encino Man. I, I remember that movie, yeah. <laughs> oh, you like that one. <laughs> Let's see here. Encino Man. Are the parts there? This one is... Okay, wait. This is Dolly. Straight talk. 
I like the Peter Pan one. Okay. If I had a little girl, yeah. I would put that in her room. Yeah, that yeah. is very cool. And the green is coming back now. Mm -hmm. the green is going to be a big color now. Yeah. All right. Honey, I blew up the kid. <laughs> Interesting. All right. All right, so we got, let's see. What? One. Here, dollies. Is this the top of this one? Or is this just two? I think there's no, two there's of them. No, there's two of them. Yep, there's two of them. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's see what this one is. I don't know what that one is. I haven't looked. Oh, that, oh it's oh, called that's, Falling that's, Down. Yeah, falling down. yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's um, yeah. Michael, Michael Douglas? Douglas. Yeah. I think I'm going to pass on him, okay. but I think I'm going to get Peter Pan. Okay. And that'll make it five of them okay. for 15 bucks. Woohoo! That'll be wonderful. Now. <laughs> oh, I can, I can get it down there. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Nobody all of you that. Thank you. All right. Well, it's good. We each had a $15 sale this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We're off to a good start. There Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. I'll leave them here and keep looking around a little bit. Okay, you're fine. Here's some. This might be interesting. That, that's uh, ten, oh, old McCall's magazine, yeah, yeah. But look, I mean, and it's the Make it home anniversary garden, huh? issue, interesting. So that might be kind of fun. You got a little bit of everything in here, that's for sure. But right. you, know, you know, I saw these people they were collecting um, paperbacks, yeah, they were taking the, off the cover because they're small and that makes it smaller. Uh -huh. So they save the cover, throw away the book. What? So oh. I'm thinking in, in 10 years because of for the um, the Art, artist the oh, art on weird that. yeah so i'm thinking in 10 years from now 100 years from now it's going to be like well if you had the book <laughs> <laughs> right? that would be worth a thousand dollars if you had the book all right i better stick with what i got all right very good thank you ladies thank you good luck to you mm -hmm. morning morning how are you doing Are there clubs in here too? No. No. That's just the some over there. Okay. There's a few over here. Okay. I'm going to buy these two right here, and I'm wondering if you would do five on that one. Sure. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're seven bucks. There you go. You guys have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Luke. I'm Luke. Luke. Yeah. Doing the coronavirus handshake. Yeah. Can you find anything? Uh, uh, just wilt and pan, but I don't know. Scooby Doo. Quarter. That's cool, man. Yeah. You yeah, do good with that. See what see what happens. All right. So did you go to the one down the street here? Yeah. On, uh, I don't didn't really have much. I didn't think. No. Yeah. We've been to like five today, and there's nothing. I got one of those. It's rough. Those, those, like those uh, stuffed animals, like the big eyeballs. Oh yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, it's good meeting you. Yeah. You too. Good luck to you guys. Yeah. You too. Thank you. I'm back from the garage sales and I found a lot of really good stuff today. First up was this box of comics. 
Uh, the sign said a dollar each of the whole box for $15 and I didn't count them at the time. I was kind of flipping through to get some kind of an idea how many there were, but I just counted them and there's 85 of them. So I'm into these for less than 20 cents a piece, which is a pretty good price. I really don't know a whole lot about comics. I've sold lots of them before. Generally I can get, I don't know, like 50 cents a piece, maybe close to a dollar a piece if I'm doing them in lots. I think I might just try to get some of the like titles together. So like maybe do all of the Flash. I do think all of these are DC. So I could put together some DC lots. But yeah, there's some cool ones in here. At that same sale, I got this DC Comics Encyclopedia for $3. I was thinking of giving this to my nephew for his birthday or Christmas or something, but my sister-in-law just informed me that he's not really into comics anymore. So I guess I'll probably just be selling that. Also at that sale, I got this uh, commercial grade kneading fingers massage thing. I don't know. I get, I got, so here, I can pull it out and show you guys. It really doesn't look like anything special, but it was only five bucks and looks like they're selling for about 60 or 70. So keep an eye out for those. Also, at that same sale, I've got a couple more things. I got this rotary phone for four dollars, and she gave me this. V VCR DVD combo unit for free. Has a remote and everything, and she says it works. I picked up these big uh, movie cutouts, pretty much all from the 90s. Uh, we got Straight Talk with Dolly Parton. That's just like the top of one. And then here's like the full-size version of it. And then back there is Peter Pan, Return to Neverland, and Sino Man. It's one of my favorite favorite movies growing up. Polly Shore was hilarious in that. That's back when Polly Shore was popular. Starring MTV's major dude, Polly Shore. And the last one is Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. I think this was the sequel to Honey, I Shrunk the Kid. I paid $3 a piece for these, and I think I'm going to put them in my antique booth. Even if they don't sell for a lot of money, I think they might draw people in. And then the last things I got are these golf clubs. I got two medicus clubs if you guys have not heard of medicus keep an eye out for them uh, because they do pretty well what these are i'm going to take these covers off here and show you so these have hinges built into the shaft and they're supposed to be a training tool and basically the idea is when you're swinging the club and you your back swing is too fast it's gonna like kind of give like that so you're supposed to keep your swing so that the hinges don't move these are really rusty, so I'm gonna try to clean these up a little bit before I sell them, but I paid a dollar each for them. Um, I have not sold a Medicus Club in quite some time, so I'm not sure what the market is for them nowadays, but I think I can probably get maybe 40 bucks for the driver and then 30 bucks for the iron. You also have this putter. It is the Yes brand Sea Groove. What's the model here? Pippi 12. Didn't look it up, but I've sold similar ones from the, the Yes brand before, and they're usually worth 25, 30 bucks, something like that. This one's got a decent grip on it too. He was asking 10, I offered him five, and he accepted. Almost forgot, I got this Cincinnati Bearcat plush. I think it's supposed to sing, yeah, it's supposed to play the fight song. Doesn't want to work, so I'm gonna crack the back of this open and see if we can get a battery in there and get him working. That's too bad, there's a lot of corrosion in there. So odds are not good that this guy works. I took a wire brush to it and got a lot of the corrosion out. And there's a little bit of buildup in there still. So I'm gonna take a Q-tip with some vinegar and try to clean this up a little bit. Moment of truth. Oh, there it goes. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.